everybody, but shabby, nobody else's auto. We're out on the road, wandering around, stop by to see a good friend of mine. Obviously, you can tell by the terrain and the trees that we are not in central or western Kansas, where we typically are at, where it's nice and flat and we can see for miles. There's a few places in here you can't see 10 feet, so it's pretty thick. But he's got a lot of cool stuff in here. Now, one thing about it, this is a different area of the country. It's much wetter here. A lot of these vehicles have a lot of excessive rust on them. He's been here since the early 60s, so a lot of these cars have been heavily parted. And a lot of people that watch these videos from here say that this stuff should all just be crushed and be done with it. Well, a lot of you guys know what my opinion is on that. Once you flatten this stuff, nobody can use anything. And even though structurally a lot of these cars are rusty and rough, there's lots of trim, lots of bits and pieces. And once these cars and trucks are flat, they're good for nothing. So we're going to share a few of them with you here. And if you, like I said, if you've got any questions, just give me a shout. I can check with them the next time I come through this part of the world and uh, see if there's something here we can help you out. But regardless, I know we all enjoy checking out old salvage yards, checking out some of the old iron and uh, seeing exactly how it sits, where it sits. And that's kind of what this stuff is. A lot of this stuff has been in here for decades. And even though it's rough, we're seeing it exactly as it was drug in here and where it was parked and how it was parked years ago. So let's go check out a few more of them. Well, let's go wandering through some of these trees and weeds and check out some more cool iron. This was a 51 or 52 Ford pickup at one point in its life. Not much of anything left of this truck. Somebody even hacked the roof off this thing years ago, and I use the word hacked because it literally looks like they cut it off here with a chisel. 69 Pontiac. Uh, the shorter taillight, so probably a Catalina, I'm guessing. Just a basic old white four-door sedan. And there we go, Catalina. There's something kind of interesting. At first glance, this appears to be a Nova, but I see some things that don't look very Nova-ish on it. The front end looks a little bit different. And if we look down here, we can see where this broken emblem is at. And this was actually an Omega. So this was the Oldsmobile version of the Nova. This would have been like a 73, 74 era hatchback Omega. And like with a lot of the cars in here, a lot of rust, the hatchback's really rusty. The whole car is really rusty on this thing. But let's keep wandering around, see what else we can find. Another old Ford truck. This one in that 48 to 50 window. Had a big flatbed on it like a farm truck size. Another Ford pickup, this one from the mid 60s. Work our way around some of these trees. Little 67 Mustang Coupe that has been <laughs> heavily stripped. Sixty or sixty one Chevy pickup. Actually that was a big truck. It had a flatbed on it as well. The grill is there but rough, but you can tell this was the quad headlight grill from sixty or sixty one. Actually well, it could be either, probably sixty one based on the way the the brackets in the grill looks like it would have had the Chevrolet script as opposed to the bars for 60. So I'm gonna say this was probably a 61. Big old Mercury wagon. A lot of wagons in here. Love seeing all the old wagons in here.
Nova from the mid 70s, also known now as the Disco Nova era. And once again, this car's rough, been in here for a really long time. Looks like it got rear ended, rear ended hard enough that it buckled the entire quarter panel. And then something obviously, I don't know if this thing went over on its roof or something got dropped on its roof, but uh, it's uh, seen better days to say the least. Another 48 to 50 Ford pickup. Kind of got a whole little section of pickups here. Another Ford pickup in that 67 to 72 window, as well as a mid to late 70s era Dodge pickup. Sitting here kind of kissing each other right there on the back. Once again, we can look at this, just the bed floor, and we can see an example of the rust out that we see in this area in a lot of these old vehicles. So that one was an Explorer with the aluminum grill, but it got hit hard in the right front corner years ago, probably how it ended up in here. This old Dodge pickup, this was, uh, there again, you can see how rusty some of this stuff is, mid 70s era. round headlight so no newer than a 79 some of the 79s had round some of them had square so that or earlier on that old dodge heavy on the pickups here how about another ford back from the mid 60s this one just the cab and the front clip And kind of keep working our way through the weeds. Focus on a few more pickups. There's a few cars sitting around here, but let's catch some of the pickups. We're heavy on pickups right now. Let's check out this old Chevrolet. There again, not a lot left of this one. Been pretty heavily parted. And once again, we can see the rust in this old truck as well. This was a heavy duty truck, big dually, big heavy duty rear axle. Check out that rear end, holy cow, that could handle some weight. Another Ford from that 67 to 72 window. Actually looks like this one was hitting the right front corner as well. <laughs> And let's catch a few more offerings from GM. Getting into the 67 to 72 window on GM trucks. There again, these trucks have been popular for a long time. This one has been heavily, heavily parted. Just not a heck of a lot left on this old Chevy. And another Chevy, this one's a little bit different. This one's a 54 or early 55 possibly. Had the unique dash, the one piece windshield. But here again, there's a, a fine example of the rust that we see in this area. Almost the entire pan under the seat is gone. Truck did have a chrome grill in it least for what's left of the upper bar.
trees coming right up through the, where the bed is. And yes, the rear end is actually still in there, but that's how buried the rear end is in the dirt and then the trees coming up right around it. Another old Ford cab. And another GM from the mid 60s. Little six cylinder laying in the back of it. Let's check out this little van. I can't remember what this is. I actually bought the emblems off of this van a few years back. I can't remember what it said. I think it said Thames or something, T-H-A-M-E-S or something. I don't remember. I'll have to get those emblems back out. But I don't know much about this thing. It is kind of a weird little duck, pretty unique. Check out the sliding windows in the door. Don't really know much about that thing. But I do know it had those front badges and they were pretty cool, so I bought those several years ago. Just have never really researched much to try to figure out what the heck this thing really is. Let's swing over here, catch a couple more trucks, and then wrap this thing up. Catch this old international right over here as we tromp through some more weeds. There again, not a heck of a lot left of this one. And one more old Ford. How about this 53? Let's take a look at this 53 Ford. Real quick, there again, not much left, extremely rusty. And a tree coming right up through the middle of it. Well, there you have a sample of some cool old trucks that are buried back here in my buddy's place. Like I've told you, they're rough, they're rusty, they've been heavily parted. They have trees growing up through them. But that's kind of what makes this place unique. Like I said, he's at the age where he can't be open every day, he just can't do it, so he's not open to the public anymore. Fortunately, fortunately he's kind enough to let me come in here and share some of it with you guys. So like we mentioned earlier, if you've got any questions about anything specific, just give me a call, 620-786-4428. That number is in the description of the video. Next time I get back through this part of the world, I'll sure try to see if I can help you out with any of it. So, But if you like these old cars, you like trucks, you like salvage yards, you like auctions, you like swap meets, be sure to check out the channel, Nobody's Show. Be sure to check out some of the other videos and definitely click that subscribe button because we allow to do a lot of cool old car stuff on here because that's really about all I know what to talk about what to talk about. But we have a lot of fun with it. We do a lot of cool live stuff. You guys don't want to miss any of that either. So be sure to click that subscribe button, check out some of the other videos, and we sure hope you enjoyed this one and definitely sure hope to see you soon on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.